Spectacular in this game. Um, he didn't get many rebounds, but he he neutralized the boards and he uh, he kept their big guy off the boards. And um, he was clutch all night. He punished them on the inside when they went small. He made big free throws. He made big and ones. Um, I mean, he played huge in this game. Um, you know, Tyrese fourth quarter was monster. 18 in the fourth, made just about every play you can imagine. And, uh, you know, really just breathtaking stuff to watch. Um, the building was, was, uh, was, was absolutely alive. You know, it's, it's another, today was another opportunity to play a playoff caliber game um, during the regular season because they, you know, they were, they were loaded up. They had all their guys and they came, they really came to play and we had to put together a, a monster game to beat them. And we did. Ricky, talk a lot about how Tyrese is good at f feeling out what this team needs and giving it to you guys in the fourth quarters in this one. He has six entering the fourth and then 18 in that quarter. How impressed are you by him that he's able to, you know, find those gaps and, and wait for his moment to be able to do things like that in close games? Well, you know, he, he's, he's a basketball savant type guy, you know, and um, people like him, people like Doncic, people like Reggie Miller, you know, they, they sense when their time is coming. And, um, you know, he just, he's resourceful and he finds ways to help our team get the ball in the basket. So sometimes it's not him every time, you know, sometimes it's, you know, he makes the play that leads to the bucket or the pass that leads to the pass, you know. Um, but his will to win um, is spectacular for, for a young player. And he's, he really is, 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 you know, he's grasping everything um, that there is to grasp about the opportunity that he has here and the responsibility that he has here. And uh, just, it's just amazing to watch him continue to grow, grow, grow every single game. I feel like recently or the last couple of weeks is the best this team's been playing all season. Well, I don't think it's a stretch to say that, but um, you know we got to be careful about looking back, and we got to keep our eye on the ball. Um, we got to stay in a growth mindset and prepare for the next thing. And the next thing is going to be you know a rested Toronto team that's had a rough stretch with injuries that's going to come in here fighting their butts off and you know we got to be ready we got to do the same thing tonight that we did tonight and that is get the fans into the game with with hard aggressive play um and then you know and then hold the line because these teams all come at you you know they all come at you they they, they came at us with a with a great third quarter you know um a run in the f early fourth, got down five. You know, we talked in the huddle about, hey, this is right where we were the other night against Cleveland. You know, down a few buckets. Just you know, let's keep our heads down, keep keep doing your jobs, keep you know, keep keep doing what we do, um, and you know, we'll give ourselves a chance. And that's exactly what they did. Just to keep on growth, I mean, where what do you think is just different in Tyrese and fourths just in the last couple of weeks? Where he's talked a lot about just conversations he's had with you guys and the staff about things he had to do and, and better like where, where do you think he's better in those fourth quarters that just than he was a few weeks ago it's, it's just the experience of of having the ball in those situations um you know he's a guy that studies film and he makes adjustments um and the, his scoring has been spectacular but it's it's not nearly all about his scoring you know there's just so many other nuanced things that are happening that are leading to other guys having opportunities to score as well so um he's just he's a guy that that, that learns from experience some experiences are difficult um you got to take them for what they are not worse than they are and see the opportunity next time and that's that's what he's doing and uh our fans are are playing an enormous part in our, you know, last three wins. I mean, the energy in the building, you know, when um, when Morse had that open three on the wing, 
I, I, I'm convinced that the energy in, in the building kept that ball out. <laughs> you know, and that's just that's what home court is. You know, in a game seven or in a you know in a um, in a playoff series. But this experience is great for a young team, and uh, we just got to keep growing. Just want to go back to what you said about Miles neutralizing Zubac. Just, what do you feel like he just did so well in that? I think I, I think Zubac had maybe two offensive rebounds in the first five or six minutes, and then he had one the rest of the game. What do you think he just, just did so well in the glass to keep him away Look, from it? He did, he did his he did his job from start to finish, and because we're playing smaller, you know, when you get a guy like that, um, sometimes your main job is just to keep a body on him, um, so that other guys can scoop up rebounds, and that's what he did all night long. I mean, uh, you know, um, and so, you know, we, we, we were able, he would, we were able to flip the script on, on, on his contributions, but then you got, then you're looking at the other two superstars, you know, so, uh, a lot coming at us tonight and, um, the guys kept their, kept their poise and maintained their aggression and, and, you know, let, let the, let the feel and the energy of the crowd carry them through. And that's. You know, that, that's what you learn in these situations, and that's what playoff basketball is all about. Rick, I think one big difference in other games has been settling for threes, launching threes. Tonight it seemed like you guys were just living at the free throw line late and making them. Was that something deliberate? Is that something that came from that experience previously? Yeah, and at halftime, our percentage of paint drives was not where it needed to be. Um, and so... You know, we were somewhere in the 50s, 50 percent range, and that needed to be up into the 60s. And in the second half, we did a much better job of moving it, getting it to the paint, causing problems. I mean, their defensive shell with the defenders that they have out there um, is as good as any in the league. And so you, you got to do things to, to try to break them down. And it's and it's not easy.